Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Tzili Nir. I'm a developmental psychologist, and I'm happy to present you uh, some findings from my PhD research on social behavior of children with vision impairment. My research supervisor is Professor Cory Schulman from the Autism Center at the Hebrew University. Uh, I will start with an overlap of the lecture. First, I will define visual impairment and its heterogeneity, moving towards addressing the question about a possible connection between vision impairment and autistic spectrum disorder, and the rationale for comparing these two groups. Then I will present developmental, behavioral, social profiles comparing preschool children with vision impairment, autistic spectrum disorder, and typical development. And finally, I will present implications for diagnostic evaluations and intervention in social communication skills for children with vision impairment. Okay. Uh, I'll begin with a short introduction of vision impairment and focusing on its heterogeneity nature. Vision impairment is a lifelong sensory impairment which has different manifestations at all different ages. As I said, it is a heterogeneous uh, condition influencing children's development, behavior, and specifically social behavior. Vision impairment could, either, could be either congenital or acquired due to trauma or a disease. There are various etiologies for vision impairment involving peripheral or central nervous system. In the current, in the current research, our sample was characterized with congenital vision impairment with peripheral etiology, excluding brain injury. Vision impairment severity range from moderate to severe. So why do I present a lecture about vision impairment on an ASB conference? Research reveals an overlap of social communication challenges in children with vision impairment that face with those challenges the children with autism spectrum disorder. But this overlap is not well understood. This co-occurrence presents challenges in diagnostic evaluation and in research. In this current study, we focus on characterization social behavior skills of children with vision impairment that can help us understand the basis of social behavior in preschool children with vision, imp with vision impairment. One of the outstanding overlapping behavior belongs to a category of behaviors which is in the vision impairment literature is called blindism. Blindisms are stereotyped body and hand movements which are common in individuals with vision impairment. Blindism was first described by Selma Freiberg in 1977. Individuals with vision impairments present more frequent use of hand and finger and other complex mannerism. This behavior presents similar, similarly to behavior scenes in children with ASD. However, such behavior may be blindism and do not necessarily implicate autistic spectrum disorder behavior symptoms or behaviors. Because blindism are less well known to clinicians who are not familiar with vision impairments, they may be confused with ASD RRB symptoms. The objective of this research was to characterize and compare developmental, behavior, and social profiles of preschool children with vision impairment, children with autistic spectrum disorders, and those with typical development. This study was part of a wider research program investigating social skills of, chi of preschool children with vision impairment and those with autistic spectrum disorder. I would like to mention that including a sample of children with autistic spectrum disorder in a comparison group is unique in the research field of vision impairment. Usually research in this field compare children with vision impairment to children with TD only. Our sample included 120 children, 40 children with vision impairment, 40 children with autistic spectrum disorder, and 40 children with typical development. All three groups were matched on gender and chrono chronological age. The age range was from three years old to six years old. Mean age was four years old. 
despite an effort to match all three groups on mental age, a significant difference between mental age of the typical development and the VI uh, emerge. But no difference between ASD and all the other groups uh, was found. The, T the TD groups had the highest mental age, then the ASD, and then the, finally the VI group. Data was obtained from parent, parent questionnaire on social responsiveness, which was by the SRS, behavior by the CVCL, and adaptive behavior was characterized through parents' interview by the violent adaptive behavior scale. All instruments were modified by omitting visual dependent items for all three groups, and analysis performed on the adapted scale. I will, uh, I will uh, start uh, by, uh, by describing data from the uh, developmental scale. The developmental skills were obtained through parents' reports on the violent behavior adaptive skills. Uh, on, uh, in an analysis of variance, significant differences emerge between both clinical groups, the vision impairment and the ASD, as you can see them uh, the, in the most uh, uh, left column, the, the green and the light blue. Uh, uh, and compared to the T group, which uh, you can see on the, on the bl dark blue columns, which you, you see it's highest. Um, as you can see by this uh, uh, result, similar difficulties in receptive, expressive language and on personal adaptive behavior was found uh, uh, among the, t the vision impairment and the autistic spectrum group. However, on play skills, which is the most, uh, in the most right columns, you can see that there was a difference between all the three groups. Uh, and the children with vision impairment show higher levels of play, play skills uh, when compared to children with autistic spectrum disorder. The next result will be on the uh, behavioral profile. The comparison of behavioral profile was done by the child behavior checklist, the CBCL. Analysis of variance between the vision impairment, autistic spectrum disorders, and typ typical development groups show a significant difference among all three groups. As expected, children in the clinical groups, vision impairment and ASD, which you see here on the uh, green, uh, olive green columns and the light, uh, the light blue columns, uh, has displayed uh, more difficulties in all behavior uh, subscales. On emotional reactivity, there were significant difference among all three groups. On the anxious, depressed, and attention problem subscales, there were no significant dif differences between the vision impairment and the autistic spectrum disorder. There, there was a significant differences between the three groups, ASD, vision impairment, and TD, on aggressive behavior. As you can see on the most right uh, columns, uh, the ST group manifested more aggressive behavior than all three groups, and the uh, TD and the vision impairment display similar levels of aggressive behavior, meaning that they, that they both showed less aggressive behavior compared to the uh, ASD group. Um, here we can see the findings about a uh, comparison of social profile. The comparison of social behavior was done by the social responsive, responsive scale, the SRS2, and analysis of variance between the three groups, the vision impairment, ASD, and TD, has found significant differences among, this, among these groups in all of the SRS uh, subscales, as you can see in uh, social awareness, in social cognition, social communication, social motivation, and on the RRB a subscale as well, as well. This graph demonstrates clearly a distinct social behavior profiles of children with vision impairment, which is between the SD uh, profile and the TD profile. As you can see, the uh, SD uh, profile is the, the, in the most higher level, and uh, the TD profile is in the lower level, and as you can see, it, it happened, uh, it, it just happened, I didn't uh, made it up. Uh, the, the vision impairment was exactly between these two profiles. So
So to summarize this graph, vision impairment social profile display less intense, less frequent, and less persistent social deficits compared to the social profile of ASD group and more than the profile of children with typical development as measured on the subscales of SRS2. To summarize and conclude, despite the reports on overlapping social behaviors in children with vision impairment and ASD, there is apparently a different distinct social behavior profile for children with vision impairment. There are similar challenges in the development of vision impairment and ASD children in receptive, expressive language, personal adaptive behavior, anxiety, and attention <coughs> problems. However, on play skills and aggressive behavior, children with vision impairment display behavior they are, that are more similar to those of typical development children. We assume that the social profile of children with vision impairment is influenced by their visual experience and specifically challenges in awareness to social cues. Additionally, the social profile reflects an adjustment to the environment due to the visual deficit. The difference between children with vision impairment and children with autistic spectrum disorder on social behavior may be the result of a different source of the deficits. It is possible that for children with vision impairment, the social challenges are due to sensory deficits, deficits while in children with autistic spectrum disorder, the challenges orig originate from neurodevelopmental disorder. Some implications for practice. These findings may help us to distinguish between children with vision impairment and children with autistic spectrum disorder and can further our ability to understand the similarities and differences among them. In the light of the result of this study, an emphasis must be placed on evaluation of social communication and intervention program for preschool children with visual impairments and their parents. It is therefore important that parents and professionals who work with preschool children and with vision impairment children will be familiar with their social needs. Additionally, we suggest, we suggest dissemination of knowledge about typical and adaptive challenges and behavior of children with vision impairment, like blindism, to professionals who are, who are not familiar with this population. Specifically, professionals should be made aware of the unique social behavior profile, profile when an ASD diagnosis is being considered for a child with vision impairment. I would like to express special thanks to the children and families who participated in this research. I would like to thank my colleagues in the Autistic Spectrum Disorder Gender Research Lab at the Hebrew University, and especially to my uh, uh, supervisor, Professor Cory Schumann. Thank you very much.